first off, my apologies to people that subscribe to my channel. I don't do a whole lot on it yet. I'm hoping to improve that, but, you know, I get sidetracked and get other things happening and going on that I do. Um, this video is not about cooking, and it's not about camping. Basically, I'm testing this webcam I bought on a new installation or a restored installation of Windows 7, which originally came on my computer. So if you're looking for cooking or camping, you can go ahead and quit now. Uh, subscribe and like. You know, I, I'm never going to make any money probably off of YouTube, Amazon, or whoever. But I still like to get sub subscribers and I like to get likes. Uh, I just retired last August. Uh, I've been a, well... Originally, they called it field engineer, computer tech, and, and it's now computer technician, support person. Uh, I've, I've done that my whole life. I've, I've fixed things, and I've troubleshot things, and most of them having to do with either electronics or computers or other business machines, computers, printers, sorters, uh, encoding machines that they use in banks. Uh, and I was so happy when they came out with a PC that I could put in my car and take to the shop and work on it after having work on, worked on uh, giant machines that it took two people to change out the power supply. Um, man, it's been a big improvement. But anyway, if you ever have any technical questions, you know, feel free to ask or shoot me a note and I will try to help you at no charge. Uh, other than that, if, if you just want to hear what I'm, I've got to say, go ahead and listen. Otherwise, Take it easy and check back the next video. Well, welcome to Mission Control. It's the day after Valentine's Day. And I'm a little at odds because Linda and I decided not to do any Valentine's stuff yesterday. And it was kind of um, unusual not doing anything to celebrate the woman that's in my life. But anyway, back to the task at hand. Um, I bought a new computer in, around Christmas of 2010, and that thing is still a good computer. Um, it's got a 23-inch, decent quality HD uh, monitor. Um, it's got an AMD 6-core processor running at 2.7 gigahertz. It's the AMD Phenom X2, and it's got 8 gig of RAM, which is plenty for what I do. So what I've done is I've basically got three hard drives in it right now, and um, one of them was like an upgrade of the original. It came originally with Windows 7, so I upgraded it to Windows 10, of course, um, when I got the first opportunity. And while I like Windows 10, um, there were some applications and some functions that I lost when I upgraded from Windows 7 that came on this thing. Uh, it's got a TV tuner in it. I could hook up a, a cable box and I could use it as a DVR to record TV shows. I haven't done it in quite a few years, but I think I can also put those on DVD for my own personal use, of course, not to make money. And um, so what I've done is I've got three hard drives mounted in there. One of them I did a factory restore from the DVDs I made. I'm good about that because I'm a technician. Most people don't do it. Their, their hard drive crashes and they're stuck. I've got two copies of the DVDs to put it back to the way it came from the factory. Of course, there's, let's see, that was 2010. It's, it's seven and a half years of updates to do. But after a day, I got it back to where I like it. And uh, the second hard drive was the original that I upgraded to Windows 10. I'm going to leave that in there. And the third, I'm going to load um, Manjaro Linux. It's a real nice Linux operating system. And um, basically, they're each going to have their own boot sector.
sectors. So there's no overwriting of boot sectors, etc., etc. Uh, and when I boot up, I'll hit the F12 key. I believe I'm going to leave it for now. I can set it to whichever one I want to boot first, but I'm going to leave it for now, Windows 7. But I can hit F12. I can pick the disk that's got Windows 10 on it, or I can pick the disk that's got Linux on it and boot and go on from there. So anyway, I just installed this webcam on the Windows 7 installation because I didn't have this webcam when I had the computer. <clears throat> and so I'm going just to test it and that's it for now.